Well, hello there once again. My name is Kerry Decker, and welcome to another edition of The Nightlife Show, Central Florida's only television show about television. That's right. And tonight's show has really got to be a first of some kind. It's the very first three-dimensional program that Nightlife has ever done, and quite possibly the first three-dimensional program ever produced here in Orlando. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here once again, and of course, um, we are always uh, looking for any uh, new technologies or new different things that we can do each and every week here on Nightlife. And of course, um, something like three dimension is something that we are very interested in and uh, hopefully uh, experimenting with it and doing something uh, new all the time. And of course, uh, to view this broadcast properly, of course, you have to have the conventional 3D glasses, which we've got right here. And of course, uh, that's where we have the red lens will be on the left and you should have either a blue, preferably, or maybe green on the right hand. And what we'll be seeing, of course, will be both a uh, red and uh, green image, which combined together, which should give somewhat natural color, and of course, three dimension, which should be uh, real nice. You know, 3D goes back quite a long ways, really. Uh, they've had, of course, uh, three-dimensional photography back in the 1800s, and of course, uh, movies weren't... Um, uh, immune to that also. They didn't always have to be shown on a flat screen. Lots of times, uh, in fact, as far back as the 1940s and early 50s, 3D movies were produced and um, they were quite a success. In fact, one of the first ones I remember seeing as a child was an old uh, Three Stooges movie. In fact, it was called Spooks. And uh, let's just watch a minute or two of that 3D film. I think you're going to enjoy it. Wait a minute. You lame brains can't do anything right, can you? Get up out of here, come on. Just a second. Let me have that wrench. Let me have it, you imbeciles. But right now, all you need is these special glasses, and you can see the first nightlife television uh, 3D demonstration, just as you're seeing right now. Yeah, we've got a few things around here that... Um, it's amazing, really. Now, I have to admit, this uh, punch ball right here is something that we don't normally have hanging on the cameras here on the Nightlife show. But um, hmm, I wonder how that would look. Let's uh, give this a try here. Oh. Watch out there. Uh-oh, did that knock your glasses off? Let's try it one more time. Yeah, I'm aiming at you right there. Now, uh, we've got a lot of different things coming up, and of course, we've spent several hours actually setting up this uh, demonstration for you. And I thought it might be fun if we kind of roll back the clock a couple hours and actually take a look at behind the scenes and see how uh, this program came about. Currently here on the, the set here at Cablevision, and uh, we have Mr. Rick Trucks here doing some heavy labor beside me. And uh, what we're doing is trying to put together our uh, set for what it may be worth. Um, this way. We're going to attempt the uh, first 3D video production tonight, and uh, we're just getting a few things together. Uh, in just a second, I'll take you over by the cameras, and we'll take a look at uh, how we're going to set things up, filter the lenses and everything. We're getting some lighting going. So just kind of hang around, and we'll uh, see how we make out tonight, all righty? Okay, what we're going to be doing here, at least attempting, uh, in this 3D, 3D broadcast, we're going to have uh, two similar cameras. They're going to be set exactly the same. They're going to converge upon the main subject, which will be me in most cases. And uh, here we have a pair of 3D glasses. The red lens will be on the left. The blue lens will be on the right. And we've got some different colors. We're going to have to see what works out best. We're either going to try red and green, or I have a, a, red, a blue filter also, so we can try red and blue. And we're just going to basically cut and stretch the filter material across each of the lenses. So what will be happening is, is the left eye, which will have the red filter, both over the eye and over the camera, will only see what a left eye would normally see. And on the right eye of the glasses, it will be either blue or green. We're going to have to make a check and see which works best. So the right eye will only see what the right camera sees. And with these two images going, they should blend inside your head if everything works out well. 
and we'll perceive a three-dimensional image. All right, we're doing a very precise operation here. It's known as cutting the gels. Notice I'm going to cut the gels here, and the precision that we use in cutting the gels. We don't just do any old thing here. Think that'll fit? I hope so. <laughs> okay. I'll probably look and see, and I've got them on the wrong lenses here or something. Don't be too concerned with taking them on there, Carrie. Well, we're going to, um, I'm going to be able to flip them back and everything, too. Oh, okay. I'm just kind of doing the, the fronts of them right now, or the top of it, I should say. Uh, this allows us to set the proper black and white levels on the camera. Uh, okay, any photographers out there will recognize grayscales. Right. It's a takeoff on the old photographer's grayscale. And this camera has a unique advantage of having a waveform monitor built right into the monitor. And so I can set it right here from the back. Yeah, it's just the registration is the main thing. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the hard That's going to be all right. But right about there is real good. It's about halfway. Other than that, then you start to see too distinct. It would be too bad, huh? Now, how about if I aim it a little straighter on here? Yeah. Is it better straighter on, or is it better if I'm tipped slightly? Yeah. We are trying some 3D effects here. Watch this. We have this effect. How about that? Now you're watching that in 2D. How about that? Oh, hey, we're both on again. And we're going to try the punching ball also. I'm trying to aim it right into the lens. Oh, okay. More balloon? So, I guess we might as well uh, kind of clean things up here. I think this will basically take care of it. I th hope you've had a good time because this entire program tonight has been done in 3D. And uh, you got to see behind the scenes and, of course, the final product. And we would like to hear from you, and hopefully we can uh, get your comments and opinions, and maybe we'll do some again very soon. So I guess I better finish my sweeping here since I can't get anybody out there to help me out with it. Uh, are you sure I can't get any of you out there to help me with my sweeping? No, I don't hear anybody raising their voice, so I guess not. So anyway, this is Kerry Decker thanking you for your time this time. Until next time, I hope to see you again real soon, and uh, we'll be back again to uh, do a little more 3D next week, and uh, we'll be seeing you again. So good night. <laughs>